Hello everyone and welcome back to Adashiving here and we've been a little bit busy, money's changed a little bit so what I'm going to do is do a little quick time lapse clip of what we've been doing off camera and then we'll resume and it involves doing some sugar beet harvesting. So alrighty then, you've seen what we've been doing and yeah. We did some sugar beet harvesting, we bought some new fields, I should pull over here and we'll go over what we've been doing, so obviously we sold some planks and pellets, in the last episode we bought soybean field at field 19, that's going to be ready tomorrow, also I've gone ahead and bought field 29 just so we can have some cotton, because I really want to get into doing some spinnery work, get some fabric and then hopefully make some clothes. We do have one cotton belt on this tree here at field 37 and we did buy a sugar beet harvester to do the sugar beets at 11, 30 and 31. Well I should have released it, sorry not bought it. However I returned it and I forgot we still got this here to do a little bit on 36 so fortunately it's raining at the moment so we're going to wait till about 6pm. That uh, is when rain is scheduled to stop. Get that done, and then perhaps not in this episode or in the next episode, we'll go ahead and do some work and get those fields all merged up together, get them all plowed out. But I think the goal for this episode is going to be just get really, I think, just get things all set up, get things going in that. Turns with our production area and I think, let's go down here a little bit. Well, no, nope, bit stuck, we should have just carried the momentum. <laughs> there we go. Come on, move. There we go. So we're not going to do the sugar beet harvest now, we're going to wait. But yeah, all of this is ours, this little area here is all ours. I uh, did find whilst clearing some trees, we did find a grass bell, so that is a neat thing to have found. So that is 5,500 years. And uh, yeah, so I think we'll wait, skip ahead of time a bit and Wait till the rain stops, I think. And the rain has stopped. Unfortunately, it is pitch black, so not the real best sign for harvesting, or at least in terms of recording that. But we'll still go ahead and get this done, and hopefully, this shouldn't take too long. But yeah, already in the silos, how much sugar beets did we get? So we got oh, a straw. 262,000 years of sugar beet. And um, we could make sugar beet cut. Prices at the moment is a bit high. So we could potentially look at selling some of this stuff in the next month or two. There we go, we're getting sugar beet. But yeah, you know, also I should I think we'll show you with the help of precision farming. You can actually look at the yieldage. So like from the sunflower fields that was pretty efficient I'll say. Like 115, peaks of 120, but then there were patches of Eighty-five percent. We did the grass field again. That's all mowed, and of course, also we didn't get much yield from our main fields over here. That is a bit disappointing. Similar with the poplar field, they were in like the mid eighties and that. But with the poplars and that, we didn't do any work on them. Didn't plow or anything. So you know what? I'm not too worried. I know that this part here, thirty-six. 
that's going to be really efficient. Also, I think our grapevines are ready to harvest as well, so we'll do that tomorrow, I think. Obviously, we're going to have to lease out some form of equipment for that. No, didn't want to do that. I want to detach you. So I think I'll just do the harm topping first. And then I'll go and do the beats afterwards. I think that's perhaps the best way of doing it. Just in terms of navigation that and like we know where we've been in that. We've already done that one little strip, so But yeah, we're absolutely motoring along now. But regardless of that, I will get this on off camera because it's not really the best time to show this at night. And I'll see you folks in the morning and see how much sugar beet we actually got from this. Hello everyone, and there we go, we've done the sugar beets. We got 27,500 litres of that overnight. And we did skip quite ahead a little bit. Money's gone up a little bit from when we last seen each other, but we bought some new equipment. We bought the brand, well, second hand, John Deere AR370 and a brand new case rotor cutter LB4360 Twin Pro. This is a super denser bather. Basically, if we look at your typical bells, there are 5,500, 4,500 round bells. Yes, square bells do get a different amount of volume. However, this. In the whole mechanics of this being all bailed and that, it squishes all the grasses together as much as possible, and then we can get these 26,000 litre bells. We got four of these. Most of these were from Fields 32 and 33 that we did as part of the contract. We couldn't tell it to get hay because obviously they wanted the silage. Uh, we could wrap these up afterwards, I think, but. Yeah, I didn't decide to do that. Also, just to show you, we bought the brand new Ponder HIT 16.18T Tether, so we can make some hay now. But what I'm going to do now is, if I remember in the post edit, is to include some clips of some work we did this morning because I did go and record a couple of little segments. However, for some reason, I think it has something to do with when I was cleaning the PlayStation 4 because I was making the Turbojet noise, full, get my little compressor out, dust it all off in there, and clean the insides of it a little bit. And basically, boot up to PlayStation, it went into like a reset mode kind of thing. So I had to log into PSN again, and it, at the time, I didn't realize it reset all my settings within the console. So things like allowing audio over recordings and all that was not enabled. So yeah, go close some clips now of what we've done. And then I'll explain some more about it in a moment. So yeah, as you can see, we sold a bunch of produce, got quite a bit of money from that, just over 100,000 litres from the pellets and other little bits. We haven't sold the furniture yet, because the best time to sell those is in February, as well as in July. So we'll sell the first load in February, next load will be in July. Also, we bought a brand new spinnery. I'll say ball, if we go over here, basically there was a old spinnery here. However, we fired everyone and basically increasing the capabilities of it. So now, if we go inside here, these are super efficient, like making from wool to fabric that can do 20, 
E4,000 litres of wool for 12,000 litres of fabric. And that can do 60,000 litres of cotton for 36,000 litres of fabric a month. And a rate in just a matter of a couple of hours, like an hour, a couple of hours of heat and speed. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5,000 litres of fabric. And we can sell get a little pretty penny from that. However, I'm not going to do that. Main reason is because of I want to get some clothes and the tail store. So it costs about a hundred grand to put in, not including any landscaping fees or that. that. Sorry, little hiccup there. And yeah, so would that be done on field 19? Hopefully, I was going to hopefully harvest it all today. However, it is snowing, so we're not going to be able to do that. And the bells here, these are going to be like for, for sheep and that, and even for, for the cows. So I do want to come somewhat self-sufficient, but it's going to be a bit of a hard task at the moment. Just get everything in, we need a... What we need is some for like a forge mixer, so we can mix everything up together. And due to the size of the bells, we won't be able to just put the bells in, like two bells, one bells here and there. Just because most forage mixers only take like 26, 40,000 litres at most, so we're going to have to chop them up. And then, of course, the rule is yeah, chop them up, put them to side, and then get it out mainly. But something like that I do not mind doing. So, yeah, even though it is snowing, we've still got our piles of grass here. Helps if I lure the <laughs> darn implement. But yeah, the John Deere ART, this has got 420 horsepower. Ooh. I think it is struggling a little bit, that's just because it's snowing. That's snowing, it's icy. So if you know what, let's just start doing over here. So we should get about 26,000 litre bells from this. Yep, so just over 10% already. And by our main field at the or grass field at the farm, field 25. Or plot 25, where we want to call it. Fill up with hay. We do have to cultivate it over here because we need to cultivate to get the best yield boost when it comes to the whole precision farming and all that. However, things like that, I don't think we'll touch that until like springtime. Simple reason is because, yeah, it's going to be snowing. A bit slow forecast for tomorrow, I think. I'm just going to check the weather a sec. I know it's icy tomorrow. Oops, stop that. So, tomorrow forecast is actually surprisingly icy. A bit snow from 9 o'clock. So, I think. Yeah, to get the horse in, because I want to get the cotton done, I want to get the soybeans done. Even if it means working in sub zero temperatures, perhaps when it's still a bit dark outside as well. Overall, I think it's going to be worth it. But yeah, because just see how much we're struggling here. So we did fit twin wheels on this, so this does give us better traction, but still. I'll see we're still being hampered here a little bit. But yeah, the sheep pen, I think, how much did the sheep pen gonna cost us? Actually, if we go back to the farm here. So we were gonna put the sheep pens here next to the cows, so Sorry about that, a little cough there. So yeah, as I was saying, like, I think the one we want to go with is the large sheep pasture as part of the animals placeable pack and yeah, if we think something like there, it is going to encroup onto the grass area here a little bit. Um, where the snow is, that's the pathway, so it shouldn't... Actually, what if it's go and place... Should we place that now? Yeah, I think so. So there we go. That is our brand new sheep hen area. Oh, some 
little... Ah, bear with me a sec. Let me get this all sorted out here. <laughs> so... All good. We get our full money back from that. Luckily. So yeah, I think we've got to do some landscaping first. So... I won't say to level... I just want to level all this off here. See, that's a lot better place. So if you keep on doing that, just throughout all of here, remo. But you know what? That <coughs> that I can live with. Just for an ease of mind, that I can live with. So that looking a lot better now. So now let's just go and try replace that. So I want to get somewhere in line so it doesn't clip the fence. So there you go, that's looking a lot better now. So yeah, that's where the feed will go in, that's where the water will go in. So yes, yeah, no clipping at all. And this is going to be a real good venture for us, but we won't get any sheep yet. Yeah, I think, yeah, we need to get all this sorted. And actually, let's go back to the sheep area to show what I was going to show initially. So yeah, this is all the hay, I think so, all this hay. Looks pretty, yeah, some hay textures and that. Pretty sure we did, did we tear this? Or I think, no, we just cut it, so this needs to be tedded, so. Actually, what we can do is, nope, I want to get you, get the worker, go, there we go. So you go that way. Yes, don't worry, and then move out of the way. Damn AI workers. <laughs> Can't get any good help nowadays. Come on, you're free. So go and get these bells over and from what we got the con initially, that was a twenty thousand year bell from field thirty seven. Whoa! <laughs> bit under the air. So yeah, I think it was like Phil Freak Seven. Oof, yeah. It does have some weight to it. Obviously, normal bells weigh, I don't know, some like 800 kilograms. Ignore what it says there, 100. But these big bells, these weigh, well, like 1.1 tons each, these big bells. So we've got like nine on six tons here at the back. Where the heck are you? What? You know what, sir? You're fired. It's like how in all of that's holy you thought that was the way to go. Normally we can get up here, I'm not sure what's small John here. I think it's just too bumpy in that. But yeah, I did think about getting rid of like getting rid of a grady case tractor. Yeah, can't get up here in snow and ice. But yeah, I did think about getting rid of the case and the John Deere here to get the better ones, but I think with the John Deere now, I did want didn't necessarily want the ART, I was going with the like seven R series and that. However, it came up on the market second hand. We had like six hours work time on it, and I think it was like a 56% discount on top of it. So, you know what? I ain't gonna complain. Of course, keep this John Deere as our little front loader tractor, or we could just get a, you know, like a T-Hander of our own. There's the opportunity to buy the shop's one, potentially.
But yeah, so all this will be hay, I think. Not sure how good this would be because of all the snow in that. Yeah, I'm not too sure on that. Yeah, I think in reality, since we're just pushing our luck here too much with trying to get too much done in the winter and that. Well, this part, this part of the field here where this part of the snow is melted a little bit, just from where we've been working on it, perhaps. Yeah, but. Yeah, I just don't know really to go on it. We'll leave that to the worker, see what they do or don't do. And I think if they struggle, you know what, that's fine. So we've got 49,000 litres of slurry there from the cows. But yeah, I think the main task at hand is just get all these bells done. Because this would be our grass bells we could put in storage under a shed or something. Same with the hay now when we get the hay bells. So yep, yeah, we'll get all this done. And I think we'll do a little quick time lapse here of getting all done. And then I'll see you folks in a short moment. <laughs> over. The wheat that was in here has been emptied into the green mill. I think this was like from like several episodes ago, yeah, ago this was, so not recent. And how much has it got in there now? 40,000 years of wheat, so that's going to last for eh, about another 10... So about another month and a half that will last, but then we do have some more in storage. Got the combine, got the tray over here. However, we're gonna hop into the John Deere and get the last of these bells loaded up. I think in total we got what was it? Five or six? Let's <laughs> try think. Five or six bells, we can actually check. So yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so five bells. And remember, these are 26,000 litre bells, so... Got a fair bit of grass here. <laughs> just some, And this is, most is just from... Like, not the best cared for fields, saying that though. I think our grass field when we cut it last wasn't fully fertilised. I may have missed... Yeah, I forgot to fertilise it, so... Can't really say much about that, but however... In total, we've got 239,000 litres of grass. 
Not too bad. Too bad at all. And I think now what we should do is get all this back to the farm. Yeah, that's going to be fantastic. I think once I get across that little tunnel there, it should be fine in theory. I say theory because you never know with workers and that. Sometimes they can just have a mind of their own. So, let's say you just go to there. So then again, you can't mess up too much then. I will take you. Over here as well. Uh, we want you to go to there as well. And now if I hop into the case, I usually uh, we can unload this and then put it into the shed. However, we're not going to strap it because we may run to trade by accident. So I think we'll need a fork of sorts. So I well, see so we do have to wield those, so we could use that potentially. Uh, spare me a sec whilst we wait for the AI to decide on whether or not they should go or not. So there we go, and just the yeah, AI has eventually got back to the farm. Oh, I forgot to break early. And also you may have noticed the money's gone down, because in the time lapse we did buy the biggest wind row there is. It is 19 meters I think, so pretty expensive. We're gonna to have to earn three grand if we wish to get the uh what's it the tier store in, but that's not gonna be an issue for us making three grand, seriously. Not an issue in the slightest, so I think for now we'll put this into storage. Why is all my equipment nearly in the river? I have no idea. Someone explain that. Someone explain why that happened. Nope, fair enough. <laughs> so I'll put you in there. So what doors do we want shut? I think we want this shut. And where's the ASRT? You are there. I think the beta will... I think I would like to get a lot of this done now, but I just think... Yeah, it's just slipping, sliding all over the place, so... I think... Can we transverse this? Maybe a firm no. Oh no, we just about got through the water. We're nearly drowning in the engine. Ah, uh, especially in this weather, like, and this is a good thing, because... What's it the weather at the moment? What's well, just about freezing at the moment, so... Not quite in the snap freeze, but... Yeah, so I've got to be careful. I think we've still got all this, all this equipment leased as well, and yeah, it's like cotton. We may do that tomorrow if we got time, or in January. The forestry, I think we'll keep that again for a bit longer. And even the semi, I thought, I thought we bought that. It's my pet. I joined his. I think we actually gone ahead and bought that, but I guess I was wrong. Oops, what's a treat. But yeah, I think this year is going to be a, well, next year is going to be a very good year for the farm. I think once we get more productions underway, I think about getting more greenhouses in. And also, yeah, we've got, we've got the grapes to do as well yet, so. Got a lot of things to do for the farm in this next year. And it's going to be a busy sp spring for sure. Do we skip ahead till spring or... Well, perhaps I think we won't because I think... 
with the amount of money it's going to cost us to lease all the equipment in that and like you see there we are just drifting like I think yes our best options is simply just wait until the new year I think us heck heck this why we all suddenly drifted there I got absolutely no idea whatsoever Yes, grass will still grow, I think. I'm not sure if it's still growing over winter or not, but... Yeah, don't get me wrong, it makes very quick work of this. And get some big bells out of this. Well, big, big bells very quickly. Ah, if it's for sure, I think, you know what? Yeah, I was going to call it a day. Whatever it's getting much, I'm just going to... Yeah, and I should put all my equipment away. I think, you know what, I was going to risk it. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold tonight. I think cold, the cold will be good for our greenhouse produce. Almost got another let's pad it, but I think... Yeah, I think we'll skip ahead... Till the next day, unless anything interest pops up in use market. Which I doubt it will, but you never know. How is our animals looking? Looking good. Milk got quite a bit, 41,000 liters of milk. Yeah, so. Actually, you got food for the sheep in that. But what about our productions? How are they looking? Anything red? Nope, still got plenty of water. Still got some planks being produced. <laughs> oh yeah, that's always going to be a bit of an on and off thing, so I'm not too worried about that. We're going to definitely need more wood. More wood is needed. We've got about another six, five to six months worth. And we're out of cotton. So yeah, that yeah, we put a twenty thousand year bell in there today. So how much did we get? Oh boy, that is a lot of fabric. I sure think no, we should keep you there. So we got two more packs that need to be spawned. So that's seven, eight, nine. 10, yeah, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12,000 litres of fabric. That ain't too bad. So, yeah, when we get our walnut from the sheep, it's going to be one of things. We won't have it on necessarily constantly. It's going to be just one of those every now and again. So, I think, yeah, we'll skip ahead till the morning. Hopefully we get some daylight early, so it ain't pitch black. But I think just look at that, 30 grand in just vehicle leasing. Bit of property maintenance, free, free, free for the loan interest, so... Loan interest, not too bad. Ooh, if we get a nice little cheap lorry there. Well, for Americans, it's technically a truck. But oh yeah, because it's definitely been battered and bruised. Not see if you want any of the extras and that. So it's just a pr standard semi. What's the engine at 485? Is that the standard engine? So 485. So yeah, that's the smallest engine, but then again, how much power does this got? 730. So yeah, potentially, yeah, we could look at getting more stuff in that. Yeah, I just don't know what to do on that front, to be honest, but... But yeah, it stopped snowing. So that means, potentially, we could do a nice 
early morning. When is it forecast to snow? Not until nine o'clock, so. Come on, please. Please be a, a little bit of daylight at seven. Like our yield expected on this. Yeah, it ain't gonna be a great if yield. But again, at the end of the day, this field did this, this come for. Well, not free. The crop is free, so. There we go. Nope, wrong button. And you know what? I am happy with that. So you've got about an hour and a half to get all this done. Should be doable. Yeah, we're going to have some form of traction issue, but you know what that I can live with. At the end of the day, that I can live with, so. So we need to. There we go. Unfold the harvester. We're harvesting soybeans. There we go. So we'll leave you to that. Fill the rest of you up. So not quite full yet. I've still got some cotton left in here. I think, yeah, we'll take this over to the cotton field. At field 29, get that started. I do, yes, I would like to have a bit more daylight out, but however, yeah, you can have everything your way, and yeah, it's going to be snowing for the rest of the day, so I think, yeah, this is the time here and now, it's going to be the best time to get this all done. Underway. Let's see, we've got the soybeans underway, we've got the cotton underway. Oh, look at that nice sunrise. Still very cold at minus seven. So you get very cold. Like, it will go into the positive slightly when it snows in a bit. But then again, Looking at the weather for February, 10 degrees high, minus 21, I guess that's going to be overnight. And then after that, we got, yeah. So we're not looking at actually getting some decent weather until like May. Hopefully it's not going to be raining all the time so we can actually get some work done. Yeah, I'll say that uh, in theory, but... I think, yeah, I think we'll call the episode here today. I think, yeah, definitely get some new sheep in that. Actually, how much... How much is it, how much is it for sheep? <laughs> I don't know. See, so, yeah, that's still churning away. Okay, we're out of space there. What else? Oh yeah, I've still got a bunch of silage here we can sell. 247,000 litres. Yeah, so... How much is it for silage at the moment? Surely this is like the best time for silage. So if we go to... Down. Silage. 369. Yeah, 
I think you know what? We're gonna sell some soy in the next episode, get some money. Milk is yeah now eggs not that great. Best time is in March. Sugar beet not until March. Well, sunflower. Even though that we're gonna make sunflower oil, but yeah, I think a lot of this we're just gonna sell. I think I want to sell. However, we want to get our bonus to that from the for our men's score, and to get that done, we need to do field work, and to get that done, it's gonna be till like February time. So, uh, a bit of a predicament here. Bit of timber. Fetch. Oh, that was a lane through. See, that is churning out very well. We'll tell you in the next episode. Hopefully, we should have. I don't know. Get a couple of cotton bells. Not too bad. And on that note, that's where we're going to leave it this episode. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that like button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're in the house last day. But for now, just to be following my voice stream, and I'll see you all very soon.